The Roman poet Ovid gave some more details of the life and death of Medusa. Medusa was an extremely misunderstood woman. Although she was born one of three sisters and a gorgon. Oh, I'm sorry, Noki. You're covered in glitter. No! But Medusa was born an extremely beautiful woman. So what happened to her was that she was punished. All she wanted to do was to work in Athena's temple and become a priestess, which she did. And one day when she was walking by the shore, who saw her but the creepy old god Poseidon? He decided that he wanted to have his way with her, and she refused. So what he did, he followed her as she ran and hid in Athena's temple, and he raped her. When Athena found out, she already had some issues with Poseidon. So they were constantly at, like, you know, butting heads. And at one point, they were both trying to get the patronage of a city, uh, Cecropia, which would become Athens. So when Athena found out what happened to Medusa, she could not punish Poseidon because Poseidon was a god. So she punishes and curses Medusa who becomes this hideous snake-filled creature. When the population dis heard about how uh, Medusa was no longer the beautiful object they all desired, men decided that, why don't we just kill her? Because she's a threat to us. And that's what men do. They kill threats. So, one by one, the men turned into stone and all failed. And nowhere in history does it say that a woman can be turned to stone by Medusa. Just saying. Finally, Perseus, the son of Zeus, is uh, given the task to eliminate Medusa. So what happens is he gets uh, an invisible helmet, which turns him invisible from Hades. Uh, Hermes gives him some like flight shoes. And Athena gives him a bronze shield which has a reflective surface so that he would be able to see Medusa without actually looking at her. Which is questionable that she does this giving the shield to Perseus because she's the one who caused the problem in the first place. He kills Medusa, of course, beheading her. And Medusa was pregnant during the time of her murder. Uh, so she gives birth to uh, Pegasus and a giant who has a gold sword. Perseus takes her head and gives it to Athena, who then Athena puts on her own bronze shield and then, of course, uses it for her for her <laughs> defeating armies. So, good job, Athena. Uh, a paper that was written in the nineteen in nineteen forties by Sigmund Freud. Uh, has some details of his interpretation of Medusa. It's questionable. It's clearly Freudian and extremely sexual. So, and what also is nice is Giovanni Versace, right there, he actually uses Medusa as his logo because she represents beauty and wisdom. So poor Medusa. She was punished for being raped. Hmm. Sounds familiar, society. Anyways, like, check out, subscribe um, here, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, on Steemit and Patreon. And as well, check out Legends Library with Coffee and Kenobi. And please don't forget, there's no planet B. See ya.